Hello, Lions Nation. Let me explain to you what Lions mean to me. The Detroit Lions is the end-all, be-all for me. I live, sleep, and eat Lions. You know, I grew up as a Lions fan. <laughs> my dad made sure that we were Lions fans in my household. We would go ahead and, and eat dinner on Thanksgiving, then go outside and play thinking I was Billy Sims out on the front grass, you know. And then, you know, we would watch the game on Sundays. And then Barry Sanders, that was the first 20, and Lynn Barney that I remember. Then I was introduced to Lynn Barney. Wow, amazing. And I actually had the opportunity to meet him. And then Barry Sanders with all the electric worms. And, you know, my most memorable time of, you know, Thanksgiving is 97, when the Lions put up 54 points on the Bears. You know, Barry Sanders turned it up that day. That was an amazing memory for me. You know, the Lions is, you know, all that it is for me, my football team. I love my football team. And then to go with the love that I have, the Lions reached out and nominated me for the Ford Hall of Fans. You know, Barry Sanders came over and spent the day with me and nominated me. And autograph my fat head. And that means so much to me. The Lions, the Fords, and Barry Sanders thought enough to nominate me to the Ford Hall of Fans. I, it hurts my heart, and I feel like I let Lions Nation down, you know, and uh, Barry and the Fords because I didn't get in. Maybe, you know, they could do an honorary inductee and get a Lions fan in. But, you know, I've experienced some good times and some bad. If you look right there, that's the Lions playing uh, last year against the Giants. But now, I've, all my memories haven't been great with the Lions. The Golden Tate catch that they call back. Uh, I've been to London twice. The first time they won against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. The second time against Kansas City wasn't so good. But all in all, my memories, my fond memories outweigh the bad. You know, Matthew Stafford coming back from nine, you know, eight times to, to win games, you know, in, in a year. And, and the Dallas game, when I was there in the stands, and the Dallas Cowboys thought they had won, and we came back, Stafford jumped over the top and won that game. You know, that's what it's all about. I'm a season ticket holder. You know, I don't buy my season tickets just to go for entertainment. I go to the Lions game because I believe that they could win every game they play. And I believe in my heart that the Lions, the ownership, and the coaches that we got can bring us a championship. I believe that in my heart, that we need to go ahead and keep our coaching staff in place and stop having this revolving door. Keep what we got, let them build, and let them bring us a championship. Because if we don't, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to keep keeping the coach like Dosa Dion said. Keep getting the coach. Three years, let them go. They get all their tools, then we got to retool again. I want a championship. I want to watch a Super Bowl with my 75-year-old dad. If you brought me Super Bowl tickets and told me I could go, I would give them to my wife. But I just want to sit in my parents' living room and watch the Super Bowl with my dad. That's all I want. I know these are professional paid athletes, but in my heart, I know how much it would mean to them to bring a championship to this city, as well as Miss Ford and the Lions organization. So as a fan, I am right here to support you with everything that is in me. Win, lose, or draw, or tie. I'm a Lions fan until I die. That's right, I said or draw, because last year with the Cardinals, and I mean that. My Lions is everything to me. So please, 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 please understand what loyalty is. What this blue is all about. What a Lions fan is all about. Thank you. Let's go. Boot up. Go Lions.